you on the properties of algebra. So in this video, we will be learning on how to simplify algebraic expressions by substituting given values or using the distributive property of algebra or combining like terms. So in algebra, we often need to simplify an expression to make it easier to use. So there are basic forms of simplifying, um, which we will be discussing here in this video. So the first form of simplifying expressions is used when we know what number each variable in the expression represents. So if we know what they represent, then we can just replace or substitute each variable with the equivalent number and then simplify what remains using the order of operations. So don't forget PEMDAS, the order of operations with which we previously discussed in the other video. Say for example, we're given P times Q plus 6. Um, what is the value of p times q plus 6 when p is equal to 3 and q is equal to 5? So all we have to do is we substitute the value of p, which is 3, to p here, and then the value of q, which is 5, to q here in the expression. So we get 3 times 5 plus 6. Following the order of operations, we, we solve the expression inside the parentheses first. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So we get 3 times 11. Then we just simply multiply 3 and 11. Then we get 33. And 33 is our answer. So... Whenever a variable is substituted with something, then we will put the new number inside a set of parentheses. Okay, another example. What if we're given this expression, um, x plus z, x times 3 minus z times x over 3. Let's try to simplify this expression um, when x is equal to negative 6 and z is equal to negative 2. Again, we just have to substitute the value of x and z to the expression. Our x here is negative 6 and z is negative 2, so we just substitute here. So that would become x would become negative 6, z, negative 2, here, and so on. After, after replacing all the variables x and z with the given number, uh, with its given value, so we just have to evaluate, evaluate the expression. So using the order of operation, we evaluate the expression inside the parentheses first. So we can work on this first. Negative 6 divided by 3, so that would be negative 2. Then 3 minus negative 2, that would be 5. And we just copy, we, we bring down, we bring down negative 6, negative 2 times negative 6, times 5 times negative 2. So again, from the order of operations, we multiply from left to right. So that would be negative 2 times negative 6 will be positive 12 multiplied by 5 and negative 2. And we just bring down 6 here. Copy 6, negative 6. So 12 times 5, that would be 60 multiplied by negative 2. Then we get negative 120. So our expression is reduced to negative 6 minus 120. By applying um, subtraction of integers, then we get negative 126 as, as our answer. 
So it will be in algebra, it will be more common that we, we don't know the value of the variables. So in this case, we will, we will just have to simplify what we can and leave the variables in our final solution. So one way we can simplify expressions is to combine like terms. Like terms, okay, when we say like terms, these are terms where the variables match exactly. So our variables match exactly, inclu including the exponents. Okay. Say, for example, um, 3xy and negative 7xy. So these two um, terms, they are like terms because they have the same terms here, uh, variables, xy and xy. Okay, so let's try some uh, solving some problems here or simplifying some problems here. What if we're given 5x minus 2y minus 8x plus 7y? So again, we just have to combine like terms here. S um, the terms that are alike here are 5x and negative 8x. So we combine them. Okay. We combine 5x and 8x. So that would be 5x minus 8x. And then we also combine negative 2y and 7y. So, subtracting 5x and 8x, that'd be 5x minus 8x, we would get negative 3x. And then negative 2y plus y, we get 5y, positive 5y. So, our final answer would be negative 3x plus 5y. Another example. Say we're given 8x squared minus 3x plus 7 minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. Again, we combine like terms. So in this case, 8x squared and negative 2x squared are alike. Negative 3x and positive 4x are alike as well as 7 and negative 3. So we just combine them. So that would be 8x squared minus 2x squared and negative 3x plus 4x and the other one is 7 minus 3 so 8x squared minus 2x squared that would be 6x squared negative 3x plus 4x that would be positive x and then 7 minus 3 is 4 so this is our final answer I hope you understand that well. So as we combine like terms, we need to interpret subtraction signs as part of the following term. So this means if that if we see a subtraction sign, we treat the following term like a negative term. So the sign always stays with the term. So another method of um, simplifying is known as distributing. So we often work with problems um, with a set of parentheses that make solving a problem diffi difficult, but um, it, can, it, it is solvable. So to get rid of this unwanted parentheses, we just have to use the distributive property, okay, which is this. Let's say, our expression is a times b plus c. Using the distributive property, we just have to distribute a to the expression inside your parenthesis. So we multiply a to each of the term inside the parenthesis. parenthesis so that would be a times b. That would be ab. Then copy the operator sign, which is plus, And then a times c is ac. So this is our simplified expression. Say for example, 
we're given this problem 4 times 2x minus 7 so we by using distributive property we we distribute 4 to the expression inside the parenthesis to 2x minus 7 so that would be 4 times 2x then copy the operator sign which is negative or minus 4 times 7 so that would become a 4 times 2x that would become 8x and then 4 times 7 that would be 28 so this is our final answer Okay, another example is negative 7 times 5x minus 6 again we distribute negative 7 here so that would become negative 7 times 5x copy the operator sign that will be negative 7 times negative uh, times 6 that is 6 because we okay so 7 times 5x that would be negative 35x be 35 x okay thirty five x plus forty two okay so negative seven times six is negative forty two times negative one here that would be positive 42 so so if we have a negative in front of the parenthesis like this oh no like this one then um, we think of it as just negative 1 in front and distribute the negative 1 through another example so what if we're given this one this expression so we have a negative in front of the parenthesis this one so we we think we consider a negative there as negative one they are just the same so they would become negative one times the expression here so we distribute negative one to each of the term inside the parenthesis parenthesis so there will be negative one times four x minus negative 1 times 5y plus negative 1 times 6 so in, by simplifying that negative 1 times 4x that would be negative 4x and this one is positive 5y and then negative 6 and that is our answer okay, another example what if we're given um, 3 3 x minus 2 times 4 x minus 5 again we distribute negative 2 to the expression inside the parenthesis to each of the terms in the parenthesis so that would become 3 x minus 2 times 4 x minus 2 times five so this would become okay we just copy 3x here 2 times 4x that would become 8x negative times 2 times 4x is negative 8x and this one is 10 so negative times negative is positive so that would be 3x minus 8x plus 10 then we group like terms group like terms so the terms that are alike here are 3x and 8x so that would be 3x minus 8x is equal to negative 5x and then bring down 10 copy 10 so our answer would be negative 5x plus 10 okay another examples Another example, what if we're given this expression 2x 
uh, 2 times 5x minus 8 minus 6 times 4x plus 3. So again, we distribute. Okay. So this would be 2 times 5x minus 2 times 8 minus this one, the sign here, 6 times 4x plus 6 times 3. So let's simplify the expressions. 2 times 5x, that would be 10x. 2 times 8, negative 2 times 8, that would be negative 16. 6 times 4 is 24x times the negative sign here, that will be negative 24x. And then 18, 6 times 3 is 18, that will be negative 18. Then we combine like terms. So 10x and negative 24x here are alike, so that would become negative 14x and then 16 and 18. Negative 16 minus 18 is negative 34. So this is our final answer. Then another example, a similar example. So again, we distribute. That would become 4 times 3x minus 4 times 8. And this one, that would become negative 1. We distribute that to negative 2x plus 7. We simplify this one, 4 times 3x, that would be 12x. And this one would become 4 times 8 is 32. So we have 12x here, negative 32. And then negative 2x plus 7, so our answer is negative 25. So that's all for today. And then I wrote here some practice problems for you to work on. Please try solving them so you can practice well on um, the properties of algebra and you won't forget. So please like and subscribe. See you again soon.